French drain. It's going to allow the water runoff from the hill behind this structure to drain down the hill to the east. And that's what we're doing right now. Uh, so our first goal this morning is to provide drainage back here. We're going to dig a trench to uh, build our French drain back here. And so we need to dig about a 10 inch, 10 inch Luke, is that, will yeah. that be adequate? Okay. Is that a 10 inch deep trench? Or 10, 10 inch, inch wide? wide? And how deep are we going? We're just going down to the bottom of the first course of tires. Down to grade, basically. You know, okay. where I'm standing right now. Maybe we can just kind of throw that muck up this way. And uh, it's not a lot. Just from uh, pretty much well, since that's flexible pipe, we'll just cut a channel basically cut this out a little bit and just the back side of our tires we're we're 80 percent there with this trench already and then eventually we're going to break through this pile of dirt that we have piled up here um at some point we're going to run that pipe out that way Uh, the perforations are just on top of the pipe, so when the water comes down the wall, it collects it in the pipe, and there's no perforations on the bottom of the pipe, and the pipe is sloped, and so that water just drains out just like a regular old sewer pipe. If we don't want it to percolate down into the ground behind here, we want it to collect in the pipe and drain away from the building. Oh my god, it's amazing! Okay. This is a type of filter fabric that's going to prevent, we're going to have gravel on this side of it and the burial on this side. This prevents the burial dirt and silt from uh, clogging the gravel and the gravel is acting as a, is a French drain to drain the water away from the uh, back surface of the tires. So basically we're just putting a barrier between the gravel and a permeable barrier between the gravel and the dirt. So we decided decided to use a barrier of plastic that's going to come up on the back side of our wall here to prevent any migrating moisture that's not going to find its way down to the drain tile or the French drain pipe um, so it doesn't migrate through the wall. Oh, I thought we were going to cover this with pea gravel. We can, but that gravel is fine. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Okay. okay, so we've laid the perforated 4-inch pipe. The perforations are on the top. And now we're going to cover cover the pipe in a smaller gravel, a 3 8 P gravel. And uh, we have our 10 inch wide, more or less 10 inch wide trench. And we're going to set, put the pipe in the center of our trench and cover it with pea gravel, 3 8 P gravel. What's the, yeah. Okay, well, we don't cool. have a lumpy, bumpy situation. We got a flat, levelly situation.